Yeah. Next week, Mother Nature is going to give us a special tree, a total lunar eclipse. This is when the sun, earth, and moon perfectly align. And this is what it's going to look like here from outer space here as we head toward uh, Wednesday, the 26th of May. I want to break down exactly what the timeline for this would be. And again, uh, this would be next week on Wednesday at 1.46 in the morning, the Earth's umbra which is the outer shadow of the Earth is going to go in front of the moon. But then as we advance the time scale to around 2.45 in the morning, this would be the best time to be outside early on Wednesday morning. That is when the full shadow of the Earth is going to block out the moon and it's going to look like that. It's going to turn this really cool blood orange next week. And on top of all of this, we're going to have a supermoon next week. So that's going to make it extra cool. A supermoon is when the moon is bigger and brighter. So we're going to be looking at a moon that's going to be 14% larger and 30% brighter. And this is all just one big coincidence that we happen to have a supermoon and a total lunar eclipse all happening at the same time. That should be pretty cool next week. Let's just cross our fingers and hopefully we'll have a clear night for it. Right now in Corvallis, good evening to you. You're sitting at around, uh, well, the temperature station is still not reporting. Hopefully we can get that fixed sometime soon, but you're sitting somewhere in the lower end of the 60s. Off to the south, we're 63, Eugene. A bit warmer in Roseburg here at around 67. Tomorrow morning, it's going to be a lot chillier than what we saw today. Low 40s expected for pretty much everybody. Now, as we get a look at the map, you'll see that we have a few showers up to the north and we do have a lot of cloud cover tonight. The clouds are not going anywhere anytime soon. We will be dry tonight. Everybody except for the Cascades across the Cascades. We have showers developing here close to midnight. Notice as you wake up tomorrow morning, we have a few passing showers, but it's more so tomorrow evening that we have the best chance of rain. This is at 2 p.m. Notice how we have showers from Corvallis down through Roseburg. And then as we head toward tomorrow evening, a lot of them diminish as we lose that daytime heating. And then as we head toward Wednesday night and into Thursday, the valleys stay dry. We push the rain out to the coast. So those of you along the coast, the best chance of rain would be on Wednesday night. And as we head through Wednesday into early Thursday morning, everybody will be under a quarter of an inch in terms of rainfall. For tomorrow, Mackenzie Bridge and Oak Ridge will be in the upper end of the 50s. Roseburg, low 60s. It's going to be a chilly start to the day, and the afternoon is not going to be a whole lot warmer. However, though, by the weekend, things will be a lot warmer as we get back up to the 70s down in the Umpqua Basin. How about the coats? We'll be around 60 here on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And as we head down to the Umpqua Basin, like I just mentioned, back up to 74 here on Saturday. Saturday will be the driest day of the week. Across the Cascades, we have snow transitioning over to rain here for Saturday and Sunday. And then in the valley, a very dry weekend expected. I think next week the pattern will be dry. However, will be a lot warmer back up to around 70 for Monday and Tuesday. Sounds good. You know, the problem right now, if you can't mow your lawn, it grows so fast. Yeah, my grass is out of control right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Dylan.